Hello and welcome to Daily Prayer for Thursday the 2nd of July. And a special welcome if this is your first time with us. You'll find that everything that you need will appear on the screen for you. So let's have a moment of quiet before we begin our time of prayer. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Teach me to do what pleases you, for you are my God. Let your kindly spirit lead me on a level path. We're going to begin with a collect, which is a song of God's light, based around Psalm 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom then shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom then shall I be afraid? Though a host encamp against me, my heart shall not be afraid. And though there rise up a war against me, yet will I put my trust in him. One thing have I asked of the Lord, and that alone I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the fair beauty of the Lord and to seek his will in the temple. For in the day of trouble he shall hide me in his shelter. In the secret place of his dwelling shall he hide me. And he set me high upon a rock. Therefore I will offer in his dwelling an oblation with great gladness. I will sing and make music to the Lord. Our psalm today is Psalm 71, and it's a prayer that may have been written by David in his old age, but we're not entirely sure of the authorship. But nonetheless, it's rather a lovely prayer. In you, O Lord, do I seek refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your righteousness, deliver me and set me free. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be for me a stronghold to which I may ever resort. Send out to save me, for you are my rock and my fortress. Deliver me, my God, from the hand of the wicked, from the grasp of the evildoer and the oppressor. For you are my hope, O Lord, my God. My confidence even from my youth. Upon you have I leaned from my birth. When you drew me from my mother's womb, my praise shall be always with you. I have become a portent to many, but you are my refuge and my strength. Let my mouth be full of your praise and your glory all the day long. Do not cast me away in the time of old age. Forsake me not when my strength fails, for my enemies are talking against me and those who lie in wait for my life take counsel together. They say, God has forsaken him. Pursue him and take him, because there is none to deliver him. O oh God, be not far from me. Come quickly to help me, O oh my God. Let those who are against me be put to shame and disgrace, for those who seek to do me evil be covered with scorn and reproach. But as for me, I will hope continually and will praise you more and more. My mouth shall tell your righteousness and salvation all the day long, for I know no end of the telling. I will begin with the mighty works of the Lord God. I will recall your righteousness, yours alone. O oh God, you have taught me since I was young, and to this day I tell of your wonderful works. Forsake me not, O God, when I am old and grey-headed, till I make known your deeds to the next generation and your power to all that are to come. Your righteousness, O God, reaches the heavens. In the great things you have done, who is like you, O God? What troubles and adversities you have shown me, and yet you will turn and refresh me and bring me from the deep of the earth again. Increase my honour, turn again and comfort me. Therefore will I praise you with the harp, for your faithfulness, O oh my God. I will sing to you with the lyre, O holy one of Israel. My lips will sing out as I play to you, 
and so will my soul, which you have redeemed. My tongue also will tell you your righteousness all the day long, for they shall be shamed and disgraced who sought to do me evil. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. And if you have some time later, it would be good to just spend some time contemplating that psalm. There are some lovely, lovely words in there of great comfort. But we're continuing now by reading our next passage from Acts. And today we're reading from chapter 10, beginning at verse 1. At Caesarea, there was a man named Cornelius, a centurion in what was known as the Italian Regiment. He and all his family were devout and God-fearing. He gave generously to those in need and prayed to God regularly. One day, at about three in the afternoon, he had a vision. He directly saw an angel of God who came to him and said, Cornelius. Cornelius stared at him in fear. What is it, Lord? he asked. The angel answered, Your prayers and gifts to the poor have come up have come up as a memorial offering before God. Now send men to Joppa to bring back a man named Simon, who is called Peter. He is staying with Simon the Tanner, whose house is by the area, by the sea. When the angel who spoke to him had gone, Cornelius called two of his servants and a devout soldier who was one of his attendants. He told them everything that had happened and sent them to Joppa. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now if you'd like to pause the video, um, you'll see there are some questions and some thoughts that you might like to think about. And then when you're ready, please uh, continue by pressing play. And so we come to our time of prayer. And you'll see some subjects on the screen for you to pray about. And also, if you'd like to press pause now, that will give you time for these and for any prayers of your own too. And so let's pray the church's special prayer for today. Almighty God, you have broken the tyranny of sin and have sent the spirit of your Son into our hearts, whereby we call you, you Father. Give us grace to dedicate our freedom to your service, that we and all creation may be brought to the glorious liberty of the children of God. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And so we've come to the end of our time of prayer now. If you have any questions or concerns, then please do get in touch. And in the meantime, let me simply finish by saying, may the risen Christ give us peace. Amen.